Okay, this video is how to draw a little box or a rectangle on your canvas. Here's your canvas right here, which is the light blue. This is the rectangle that was drawn on there, a little red rectangle. And it says my HTML5 canvas. And this little red rectangle, you could animate. You could make it so that it moves, it spins, and changes size, and what have you. Let's see how this was done. Let's look at the code to see how this was done. And here's the code in Notepad. And if I look up here, this is the style that I have, my style sheets. And what I have here is I have the background color for the body is going to be black. And the color for the fonts is going to be a light green. And, of course, that's what you see here when I have down here uh, this my HTML5 canvas, which is this guy right up here, okay? All right, now, let's see how the how the, the rest was done. What I have is I have my canvas element right here, and I have my ID, which is C1, right over here. What I need to do now in order to draw something, in order to make something happen, I need to have script again. I need to use JavaScript. And I'm going to use JavaScript with the document object model. In other words, what happens is that this document can be modeled as if it's an object. And what I do is, is I first use this document object model key phrase that says document get element by ID. And the ID of this element is C1. And canvas is an element because an element has an opening tag, canvas, with a closing tag. So what I've done is I set this variable, my element, and it could be any legal variable, equal to document get element by ID C1. So now my element knows that it is a canvas element. So since it's a canvas element, my element, one of the, one of the methods that the canvas element has is it can get the context of a 2D uh, scene. Now you might say 2D, oh wow, does that mean there's 3D as well? Well yes there is 3D but it's highly experimental now. So somewhere down the road we know we're going to be able to do this in 3D. So my canvas is now become another object that's going to do 2D stuff. So my canvas fill style is going to be red, okay? My canvas fill style is going to be red, and that is a property of, of, of the, my canvas. And then my canvas fill rectangle is going to be 10, 10, 50, 50. In other words, this is the X and the Y coordinates. This is how far to the, left, uh, to the right it is. This is how far down it starts. And this is how, how wide and how... Uh, 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 big it is. So I did 50-50 here. So it's 10 down and 10 down. And that now makes my red canvas. So one of the things you should notice here when you do the document object model is that every variable starts off with a lowercase letter. And then every time you have, a, then the dot is what holds it together. Like this is document and then what's part of the document is the get element by ID. Notice the G is lowercase. Everything's lowercase. Then when the next word element comes up, it's a capital E. Then everything's lowercase. When the next word, word by comes up, it's a capital B. Then it's lowercase. When ID comes up, the I is an uppercase. And then the D is lowercase. Because this goes up, down, up, down, it's called camel case. So this uses camel case, and you have to pay attention to where the capital letters are. If you don't, it won't work. Now, when I set up my variables, I also use camel case. My, uh, the first word, my, is starts lowercase, stays lowercase. Second word has a capital E, then everything's lowercase. My element, same thing with my canvas. So this is the, the way that you use the canvas element in order to make something on it. And in this case, we made this nice, pretty rectangle on it. Now, it may not seem like a big deal, but believe me, it is. Because since we've done this all with code, we didn't use any GIFs, we didn't use any kind of images, what have you. We can manipulate this code 
as you'll see later and make that make that little square dude do all kinds of really cool things like make him spin make him get larger make it so that we can actually make a first person shooter out of this if we wanted to and we'll see how to do that okay so what the purpose of this was was to introduce you to the document object model how it's used and then where it's used in order to make something happen on the canvas the canvas element itself is not capable of creating things that are dynamic on the canvas I have to use script mainly JavaScript and I have to use it with the document object model okay that's it for this video thank you for watching